Welcome to episode 12 of the Family Travel Australia series. For the next couple of weeks, we are exploring the fabulous Bundaberg region, and our first week we set up camp in the beautiful seaside village of Burnett Heads. Our first stop is the famous Bundaberg Brewed Drinks, where we get to experience their fabulous factory tour and taste all of their delicious flavors. We then head to the Hinkler Hall of Aviation to find out about one of Australia's most famous pioneers of aviation. And Katie gets us ready for summer with some delicious mango recipes. Yum. Welcome to the Hinkler Hall of Aviation, which is based on Albert Hinkler, born and bred in Bundaberg, our fantastic aviator pioneer, who was born in 1892 and went on to change the world. He was the first one to fly solo, 15 and a half days by himself across from England to Australia and that was his his dream he wanted to do it. He was also the first one to fly across the South Atlantic and set the record in 1931. So he achieved in his short span of life such amazing examples I guess of that determination and tenacity that he had mm -hmm. to be you know putting aviation on the world scale and people in Australia, all the way over here, to be the ones setting the standard, I guess, as well. So we've got a lot to be proud of. And hence, that's why we're able to be really pleased about having such a fantastic museum to pay tribute to him as well. we've got the information, we've got the examples, his original plane that he flew from Sydney to Bundaberg in 1921 where he set a record for non-stop flight then and did a few little tricks and aerodynamics as well, came flying into Bundaberg and flew under the railway and traffic bridges in between the water and where we drive, as you do when you're Bert Hinkler <laughs> and you're the most daring man in the world. So yes, he was amazing. Come in, enjoy it, have fun, learn about Bert, learn how amazing he was and how thankful we should be that there were people like him who went above and beyond to make this happen and that we probably take it for granted that we can just get on a plane now, but it wouldn't have happened without people like this. <laughs> Welcome to Bundaberg Brew Drinks, my name's Tammy. We're a family owned business, Cliff Fleming founded the company in 1968 with his mum and dad. 
still owns it to this day, still comes in here. So we started off with the iconic ginger beer and we've actually now export to over 50 countries around the world, which is pretty amazing from where they come from to where they are now. A cool fact that you might not know about our ginger beer, that we grow our own ginger. We need constant supply of that ginger, so that's why we have our own farm. Self-guided tour. We're open seven days a week. It's $12 for adults, under 18 is free, which is pretty amazing. That gives you the tour, the full tasting of all 19 drinks. We have 19 drinks now, and a bonus six pack for each paying adult. And the tour itself is like walking through a mini brewery and it shows you how we make our ginger beer, from growing the ginger, through the brewing process, through bottling. Smell? Smell like coconut to you? Yeah. Coconut! Yes. Oh, hang on, hang on. Passion fruit. Mm. Mm. Try this one. Oh, oh, green apples. We love green apples. <laughs> Did you like that one? I like that one. I think you're gonna like all of them. Just my guess. Mm. All right, you ready for the next one? We're ready. Next one is peach. All right, this is our burgundy creaming soda. Next one is the blood orange. This is a pink grapefruit. All right, are you ready for the next one, Jasper? Yeah. Get yeah. on the home stretch, Emma. All right, lemon, lime, and bitters. <laughs> Sarsaparilla. Right at the end, this is our Royal Crown Draft Premium Cola. This one's a layered cola, which means each sip you take, you often find new flavours. We've just finished this wonderful experience, the Bundaberg Brew Drinks Brewery Tour. That's lots of bees. It's home <laughs> of the famous Bundaberg ginger beer that we absolutely love and Jasper is now a huge fan of. And gosh, what an absolutely awesome interactive experience for every age. I actually think that the, the way they've set this experience up, it's magical would be the best way to put it. It's got a sense of um, like Disney had, had a hand in creating this experience for families. There's, you enter through a door that's like going into something from Charlie and the Chocolate yes. Factory. And then there's uh, a little area, it's like smellometers, I'm not sure, or sniffology or, <laughs> Anyway, it's like press and guess. And so you press a button and you get this great waft of the different flavors that might be inside. And then you have to guess which, which ingredient of it is. the like 18 different flavors that they've created here. Truly wonderful experience. It was fantastic. Jasper actually did not want to leave. In fact, he made us go in a second time so that he could explore some more. But you also get an insight into the factory operation. Um, you get to 
basically see videos that are like almost live streamed from the factory showing you what yeah. happens there. But and quite a cool little option to 360 degrees so you can push along the touch screens and basically see any part of the production in the factory. It's very cool. It is awesome. It all happens in the big barrel behind us um, and it, I mean, it's such a cost effective awesome experience to do if you are in yeah. the Bundaberg region you have to come it's like this is what makes Bundaberg famous so you have to come and do this and one of the really novel ideas that I hadn't seen before was uh, that you can actually put your own photo and message on the labels that then go on the bottle so I'll probably let the cat out of the bag but it's a little bit of a Christmas family Christmas idea that we thought might be a nice treat for everyone. Yeah. See they don't get to see our faces all the yeah. time, they can have it on a bottle. Our, fa our faces on a ginger beer bottle. Awesome. We welcome everyone to come and enjoy this unique experience. certainly feels like summer and as we were driving into Burnett Heads we stopped at a local mango stall just by the side of the road and picked up these beautiful mangoes which I'm super excited about always reminds me of Christmas time when I eat mangoes so we thought let's make a gorgeous mango salsa to go in one of our favorite meals which is fish tacos or as some really good friends of ours like to call them farcos I'm going to whip up a quick mango salsa to go in the tacos and then we might even try something a little bit different. We picked up a recipe today from the grocery store for some grilled mango cheeks with coconut sugar and toasted coconut. Sounds amazing. So we might do that for dessert. See how we go anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to cover up the fish because there are a few flies about and I'll quickly chop up the rest of the ingredients for the salsa. So we've got some beautiful fresh red onion. I'm just going to finish chopping up some red capsicum to go in the salsa, give it a bit of colour and that beautiful fresh burst of flavour. And I'm also going to pop in some little baby cucumbers and Jasper has recently discovered these baby cucumbers. They're great to snack on. We love to eat them just whole. I've been just having them on our travel days in the van just as a healthy snack. And he can eat two or three of them in a row. So winning. Look at that. That already looks good. So good. I'm just dicing up these mango cheeks again. Pretty rough. Doesn't have to be perfect. Jasper's asleep. He'll be really disappointed that he's missed out on sucking on the mango seed. That was one of his favourite things as he was a, a baby starting on solids. Didn't he love that? Mm. Good delicious mess. <laughs> you know what goes well with eating a mango? A swimming pool. That's what we used to do as kids anyway. Look at the colours of that. That is just amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to give that a mix around. I mean, how good does that look already? Okay, so I'm just going to dress this salsa. How simple is that, really? With a couple of drops of my doTERRA lime essential oil. 
which we absolutely love. This is great for drinks, it's great for salad recipes. You can basically use it wherever you would use fresh lime juice or zest. So just a couple of drops. Give that a mix around. Mm -hmm. You should taste test this now, husband. I think it smells with that lime in there. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Good. <laughs> I mean, you could just seriously eat that on its own. What a beautiful, quick, mm. easy summer salad. Okay, now we do have to give a shout out to Coralie from the Burnet Heads Seafood and Grill for supplying us with this beautiful, fresh, local caught mackerel. Thanks, Coralie. Put one on. I'm gonna pop on some of our salsa. You could add in sauce or salt and pepper or whatever else you want to this. But I think that combo is enough. Look at this. And then what a quick, easy, delicious, healthy dinner for summertime. Good. So we've given them a light spray with coconut oil and a sprinkling of coconut sugar. We're going to pop them face down in the pan. And we're really just caramelizing that sugar. So a couple of minutes max. That'll do it. I'm gonna turn the pan off. Now if you had a barbecue grill, these would be great char grilled on the barbecue. Pop them on there. Just score them a little bit. Make it a bit easier to eat. And the recipe says to just give a light sprinkling of some shredded coconut or coconut flakes. I'm also going to give them a little drop of our lime essential oil. And just a little bit of natural Greek style yogurt. How delicious does that look for a healthy dessert? Taste of summer right there, baby. Sounds like a great place to fly. Should we fly to the Gold Coast and see Granny and Granddad? Yeah. All right, travel safe. Bye.